Tsunami Studios. Homesick Pilots Issue 3. I continue to enjoy this, man. It's a nice little book. Pretty engaging, pretty fun. It's just going to a bunch of creative directions that I think I'm starting to see what the book's trying to say. You know, the first two issues, I enjoyed them a lot. I think the artwork was great. The colors were great. But now I'm like, oh, this is the story. Okay. I see what you're doing here. I'm intrigued. I'm very curious to see what we're going to continue doing. So let's jump into it. We open up this book. We see the homesick pilots are playing a concert in some weird children's home. And none of the kids are interested in what they're doing, but they're the band's just rocking out and having fun and enjoying themselves for doing what they're doing, and they're just having fun with it. And we realize that the narration at the beginning of that book is from Amy, who is hovering over the room that Buzz is in. She's holding like a ghost lamp, and she's just like, we had so much fun, and I've been doing this for a long time now. I was wondering why you guys haven't come to found me, but I get it, you know? I shouldn't have asked you or said, think that you would come to find me, so... Maybe when this is all over, I'll come back and we'll be able to do some pretty cool gigs as the pilots. But if not, then that's just where I am now. So goodbye. And we see that Buzz wakes up thinking that he heard her, but he doesn't know anything for sure. And we cut to, I'm pretty sure, is the next morning. And we see Buzz is in class and the police are just trying to ask some questions. And we see that the police officer who's there to ask some questions is the one that beat up Rip. Which we'll learn about a little more as the book continues. But you're like... Buzz isn't really sure what to do or what to say, so after class he goes down to where he thinks Rip is going to be hanging out because Rip has been skipping school a lot lately and hanging out with these punk kids. And, like, we're talking some serious punk kids. Like, you know, the the vests, the buttons, the hair, and the spikes, man. And Buzz is just like, I'm here to find my friend Rip. And he's getting hassled for not being a real punk. And it gets some, like, some small dialogue about, like, oh, what's really punk? And do punk people even like music? And, like, do we just listen to it because we're punk or different? Which I'm like, that's kind of, fu it's a fun idea, but at the same time, I'm like, whatever, it's okay. And he eventually does find Rip, and you see Rip's just been, like, smoking up some joints. Well, not even a joint, he's been smoking up a bong and just having a good time, just relaxing and chillaxing. Just a broken man who doesn't really know what to do, but we see Rip is still beaten and bruised by the fight he had with the cop, and that's kind of the implication is that the cop beat him up for the way he attacked the cop earlier in the other issue. You're like, that's kind of dark, man. Didn't like that at all. So we see that Buzz is still, like, going to the house trying to find Amy. And Rip's just like, don't, man. She's not coming back. None of them are coming back. None of this is going anywhere. And Rip's obviously just given up on everything. But Buzz is still sure, like, I'm going to keep trying until I get the answers I need, man. And there's kind of, like, arguing. And you could see, like, the tensions of them rising. But, of course, from Rip's perspective, like, why even go back there? All it did was break him and destroyed everything he really had honestly and he's no longer okay and you know buzz is just saying that the police were asking about you and the students and the, the faculty are just like where are you what are you doing you're even skipping school a lot nothing's working out and then one of these punk kids starts yelling at buzz because like you know what man i would have stayed back and stopped the cops from beating on my friend but he's like i just thought they were going to arrest him or at least charge him with something i didn't think they'd beat him up but it's just like a dark idea, man. It's getting pretty intense. And you know, Rip's getting a lot of shit going on here. And it's kind of scary to see, honestly. Very dark stuff. But Buzz decides that he's going to keep investigating the house. So he goes in and he's talking to the house like he's talking to Amy. He's like, you know, I did some research about the house because it keeps changing. I wanted to see if there's like anything I could learn from it. And the thing is like the guy that owned this house was like old James. That's why we call it the old James house. He was like this uh, weird guy. You know, he uh, made a living killing, killing, selling horses in the gold rush, and he built his family up here, and uh, it's just pretty weird, man. It's just pretty weird, so, like, a lot of dark stuff going on there, and then a lot of people have been here, there have been murders here, some really gruesome murders, and some weird suicides, and as he's talking out loud to where he thinks Amy is, we see some of the ghosts, like, there's a kid with an action figure, there's a woman hanging herself in the closet, there's a guy in the refrigerator all these different ghosts that we see we see the lamp ghost at the beginning that amy was bringing back to the house and it's just kind of a really dark and interesting story that we're being presented here that we cut back to amy who's going through like this obvious old blockbuster studio type of place and she's trying to find this one ghost of like a vcr tape or a vhs tape i believe is what it's called if you kids aren't familiar i vaguely know what a vcr is and a vhs like that's right when i was i mean i had them but i was like a young person and I know what a DVD is more than I know what a VHS is. 
but she finds what she believes is ghost number six but she hears this weird noise coming from the other room and it's a different ghost that looks like an old milkman kind of who got his head sh chopped off by something and there's like a dead body over in the other room that's obviously like still it's kind of alive but it's like getting killed by the vhs tape killer and she's like oh you're not one of the creatures from the house you're something else and she's just trying to figure out like what are you i can't bring this thing back to life i can't bring it back to its comfort in the house what's going on with this and as that's going on buzz is trying to see some like oh what's going on in the house there's a lot of weird stuff and the horseshoe falls off the wall again so he tries to pick it up to figure out, oh, well, maybe this is a clue to something. And as he picks it up, the ghost of the horseshoe ghost thing, you know, that creepy horseshoe looking guy, he's like, oh, we're so lucky. We are how lucky we are. You're not lucky, but I'm lucky. Lucky for me, I'm back. And he's like, woohoo. And it looks like Buzz becomes that weird horseshoe ghost thing we saw earlier, which is a really interesting place to stop. And I'm just like, this is such a fun book. It just looks so cool. The color, I really like the colors. I bring that up every issue. The colors are just like popping off the page, looking really intense and unique. There's really nothing like it on shelves, man. It just has a really nice energy to it. Something I'm enjoying immensely. The characters are all compelling. The story is becoming this really interesting piece about ghosts and, you know, finding your peace pretty much. I really like that angle. It's becoming really cool. And it's kind of graphic in a way I wasn't expecting. So I'm liking what I'm seeing, man. This book's doing some cool stuff. Buzz is doing some things. Rip is doing some things. Amy's doing her things. Everyone's doing their things, and it's looking pretty cool. So I have to commend the book for being something I'm enjoying. I think it's becoming a pretty cool read. So, Homesick Pilots, issue number three. I am going to give a 7 out of 10. Now, thank you guys so much for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, all that good stuff. And I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.